got put down. It's been a week. I've had this guy for a week now. He's sleeping. Thank God. <laughs> what a week it has been. Uh, when people say that uh, puppies are tough and that the first few days are the hardest, they're not kidding. This has been brutal, but so worth it. We're getting into a rhythm. One of the biggest things has been finding our rhythm, uh, partially in routine, but also just understanding how he works. I mean, he basically only stays conscious for about an hour at a time, which is really, really cute. And also really, really handy uh, when it comes to actually getting back to work, because I wasn't able to get any work done for four or five days. I haven't been to the gym in about two weeks, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I thought I'd show you what week number one uh, with this little guy has been like. And of course, to tell you his name, because I've been holding on to that information. It may have leaked, you may have found it somewhere else, but. Uh, if you haven't figured out what his name is yet, I don't skip to the end of the video because this time I'm not I'm not putting it at the end of the video It's gonna be somewhere in the middle somewhere in between you never know Maybe right around the time that I thank my patron producer of the day Which if you didn't catch their name at the very beginning of the video, you might go back and see if it was you If you're one of my patrons if you're not well spoiler it probably it probably wasn't but thanks for watching anyways I'm really glad you're here. Anyways, it's been a week of firsts for him for me puppy life in Paris He's snoring <laughs> The first night was uh, pretty brutal. Up every hour, he had two accidents, one of which was pretty severe. Yeah. He managed to uh, knock his kennel over and the door came off and he ran around with poopy paws. So that was fun. I'm okay. We napped together on the floor, which I'm sure was adorable. Yeah. Oh, nope, don't run away with that. There we go, we play together. Playing together is the funnest. Anyways, hopeful. I'm hopeful that tonight will go much, much better. Yeah, it will, won't it? Yeah. We've had a lot of successes peeing outside ever since. Yes. Hey, buddy. Oh, you gotta go in there, I'm not interrupting that. Ready? Good boy. Here, let's turn this on. Ready to be blinded? Whoa, good morning. 100% no cry. You made it through the whole night. Second night, what a good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Let's go pee. You ready for a little nap? Yeah, let's do a little nap. I don't know how I'm gonna get this video edited. If, if you've seen it, that means I managed it somehow, but five or six hours of sleep in the end, and my brain is like just freaking out, listening for the slightest hint that maybe he's getting up. So I didn't sleep very well. Uh, it's gonna be tricky. The next, I hope it's not for a long time, but the next week or two maybe, really hard to, to get vlogging done alongside taking care of this guy. He's not giving me a lot of time or space to do anything else, which I'm gonna have to start working. I'm gonna have to really work on the crate training so he can spend time alone. That's, it's gotta, I think that's gonna end up being a real priority. Well, we just have another successful poo break, which is good. Mm -hmm. I still have a mental block on naming him. Tomorrow is the day at the vet. Monday at the vet. Day four that I'll have had you. Three and a half, something like that. What do I call you? I feel like I should decide by tomorrow. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take him on a walk around the neighborhood and see if we can't figure it out. He looks pretty dapper, huh? I don't know if I'm having such a mental block about this, but I have this whole time. It feels like such a big decision. Good. 
boy. Good set. <laughs> Slippery floor. Overall, he's being a very good boy today. He goes through uh, his cycles where he becomes a little bit naughty. He's in a, he's dangerously close to a naughty phase right now, and he's very interested in the camera, which I want to be careful about. Obviously, it's going to be a big part of the rest of his life if it's a big part of my life. So last night was good, though. We're building our routine now because I got to get this. This is he likes to lie down there. We're just gonna keep that routine going. Kennel time in the morning, kennel time in the afternoon, kennel time in the evening, just to get him into that routine. And then we'll start working on separation. I'll start walking out of the room for longer and longer periods of time. Slowly but surely, hopefully he'll stop trying to nibble on my pants right over my groin, because that's inappropriate and also kind of scary. <laughs> the other thing I really need to do is get him some harder chews. Like he doesn't like his chew toy. And you get some antlers or something because he's teething and that's why he's biting everything. And that'll solve the, a lot of this problem, I think. I don't even know if you can see that, but... I'm sitting here watching him sleep. I'm just trying to think about what I should name him because I feel like today's the day I need to make that decision. And it's been a huge mental block for me this entire time, which I thought was really weird, but everything's kind of making sense as far as why this has been such an emotional roller coaster for me so far. What really helped, I mean, a couple of things. There's, there's, I've learned a lot over the last um, weekend. I mean, just the weekend with him was both really good and really bad. It was, it was hard, you know, just breaking in a new puppy. Everybody says the first few days are rough or the first like couple of weeks. Uh, but I didn't realize just how hard it was going to be. I definitely had some highs and lows. And even though there were some moments where I was like, what have I done? Like, <laughs> I never really doubted that this was the right decision. There's something I feel settled about that. I feel really calm and I feel really like internally affirmed that I've made the right choice in doing this. That's not to say that I haven't had moments where I'm like, Ugh. but overall it's been really good. The short list has been uh, Winston... Cooper, Beasley, Duke, Nacho. And there've been a bunch of others that have kind of one point or another really stood out to me. I keep throwing Duke into the short list, even though I don't think Duke works and I don't, I don't want to use that one. Beasley is a reference to Pullman, my hometown. The Jenica threw out there. A lot of these names are from friends. And that's the funny thing is I haven't come up with, I don't think I've come up with any of these names myself. Uh, they've all been given to me by friends. It ties into this mental block where I just cannot think and I cannot commit to a name. I, I can't even like propose my own ideas for it, which is really weird. I mean, I have jokingly at a couple points thought about calling him Wario, but I don't think that's a good idea. He's thinking about waking up. I hear him slopping his face. The reason that I feel like this is uh, also coming together right now is because his first vet appointment is in a couple of hours. So I'm going to take him out of the crate here in a bit and we'll play and go potty and train a little bit and uh, and try to get him kind of tuckered out again before we go to the vet. So he has a good experience there. So I, that's kind of why I feel like I have to make a decision. I don't have to, have to. And if I were to make any decision right now, I think I would pick Cooper. I think that that's a good name. And uh, he seems like a Cooper. He's not a formal little man. He's got a lot of spunk. He's got a lot of personality, a lot of attitude. That's also what makes Nacho a really funny name. And that, so Cooper was proposed by Lindsay. Nacho was proposed by Pushan. Nacho is a favorite of a lot of people that I've floated it by, except Lindsay, who absolutely hates it, which is just funny to me, which is not going to deter me from naming him that if that's what his name is going to be. But I thought that was also really touching. Among all of the touching moments that I've had with my friends and family in the last week, and I feel so supported and so cared for, which has been huge, because there have definitely been moments where I felt very alone and sleep deprived in all of this. It was very touching that Pushan floated that one just because I love, I love nachos. If you know me well, you know that nachos are like my favorite food ever, always. I mean, pizza, nachos, you know, healthy options. Anyway, I'll give it a little bit more thought, but I need to make a decision. Just need to, just need to do it. And then we'll live with it for the rest of our lives. <sighs> no small thing, but I'm feeling really good after this weekend. I just, I feel like I'm on the right track, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna think about the name. I'll let you know if I decide. <laughs> he's, he's having a dream. So funny. All right, we're off to our first vet appointment. Wish us luck. Get this long walk in. Hopefully it tires him out a little bit to see, hear, and smell all this new stuff. 
and then we'll give him a shot. Hopefully that goes well. That's his first trip to market. Granted, it was a fruit stand, but getting closer. Falling asleep to traffic noises is good, although something just perked him back up. I'm hoping he's in the right mood to uh, meet the vet. First vet visit, wanted to go well. So, uh, tired puppy's a happy puppy, right? Yeah, what's that, snacks? Oh, you're so sleepy, you're barely hungry. Yeah, I think he's gonna be fine. He did so well, he's the perfect little gentleman. Definitely a good trick. I, I saw that in a number of training videos, but getting him tuckered before we went out to the vet made for the perfect vet experience. I wasn't filming when we did the shot, unfortunately, because he just took it like a champ. Gave him, put a little treat in his face, and he didn't even care that he was getting injected. It was great. He's the talk of the town. Look at him. So that is really satisfying. It's really good. Our first vet visit in uh, three or four days, they said he'll be ready to go outside, and then we can start living like normal people again. Take him on the metro, visit friends, go to restaurants, Gonna start getting him used to my lifestyle, and hopefully, we'll be living at large together in no time. Puppy's first. Shh. Yeah, buddy. You ready to be introduced to beer? What I can easily do is just cheers, start, buddy. Start with the oh yeah, cheers to you too. <laughs> It wasn't just pooping in his kennel. There were a lot of really good firsts along the way as well. This is this is baby's first peanut butter from the peanut butter master. What is this still? Alright, time for puppy's first metro ride. We'll see how this goes. I just realized I never actually told you what his name was. I We got close, but his name. Hold on. We should probably thank today's patron producer first, Greg Williams. Thanks for being here, buddy. And to all my patrons for being here. And for those of you that would like more information on puppies, thank for uh, this next patron-only garage monologue. It's just going to be a nice long talk about everything I've learned through the puppy experience, through what it's like to get a dog in France, to what it's been like personally, uh, just on a little more of a personal level. So anyways, his name is Cooper. Seems like a perfect name for him, to be honest. I think it's a really good name. And uh, now, let's just see a little bit about socializing Cooper through a bunch of Cooper's firsts. Because there were a lot this week, and we have a lot of ground to cover. He's got a lot of things to get used to. He needs coffee more than I do. He's tuckered from the metro. He'll fall asleep on you pretty fast. First, hopefully his first vaccinated pee out in the wild. Absolutely the nicest pet store experience I've had so far. I don't know how you'd rate it. You're a longer dog, dog dad. I give it two, uh, two paws up. Two paws up. <laughs> Emily, Nathan, if you see this, thank you so much. That was really good. It's so nice to have conversations with people with, I don't know, they know what they're doing with your dog and just helpful. Puppy's first cheesy souvenir shop. The berries are as big as he is. 
now to make sure that this new sweater is truly a pee free experience. This antler is a lifesaver. Game changer. From baby's first Eiffel Tower visit to his first kitsch pseudo Christmas landscape. What the heck's going on here? The bag is not a very good babysitter. Uh, and now having seen that, we'll move him a little farther from the edge. Puppy's second coffee. <laughs> oh, he has his little handbag. <laughs> Street walk, yes. But now that he's vaccinated, he's allowed to go on the streets. First meeting. Was that fun? Yeah. We're just we're finding a harness for him. You're the you're the expert though. Alright, we're gonna try mealtime training in a new environment. We haven't done this yet, and I believe in you. We came to the back room where there's nobody. We're gonna let him sniff around and get used to the area, and then uh, see how he does. I don't know why I'm telling. The, I don't know why I'm telling the camera this, but oh, is the wood floors are weird, aren't they? You know, great, keep exploring. Stepped around the corner to fill up the water kettle. And I'm out of his line of sight, and uh, these are the moments. Oh, this is a good moment to step back into sight because he's done. He's done screaming. Just don't want to step into sight while he's screaming, so he doesn't think that that makes me reappear. I haven't been able to get to the store for. Thankfully, I stocked up, and I, I think I, I don't even know what I need from the store to be honest. My brain is fried. But he did sleep for a solid like five and a half hours last night in one go, which was great. So nothing else. I set up that recording device to record and see if he does make any noise. If he realizes I'm gone, I can see how he handles it. Probably should set up like a webcam or something, but this is gonna be just like a five minute run to the bakery, get myself a treat, a reward for surviving. Hopefully calm down from that last crying fest. Cause it really, it really gets me huh, stressed and uh, I know it's the way forward. He's got to cry through it. He's got to get. He's got to get over it. He's got to learn to be a, an independent little man. But it doesn't make it easy. 
First part of the test is just seeing if he's screaming now, which he's not, because I'm pretty sure I hear him in the hallway. Oh, what's this? Yep, just moving around again. So, according to the recording, halfway through my disappearance, I was gone for all of about, I think, I'll put it on the screen for sure, but I think it was about eight minutes in total that I was gone, maybe a little bit longer. He woke up, noticed I was gone, shook it off, whined a little bit, and then went back to sleep. That's great. So, that means I could probably level that up with a trip, a longer trip to the grocery store tomorrow, and then the next day, I think I'm gonna try and go for a run. I haven't been for a run in a week, and I'm really feeling it. I haven't been to the gym in almost two weeks, probably about two weeks. I'm really, I really need to get back into exercise modes, if I can. Obviously, he comes first. But my hope is that if we can do this, I can tucker him out in the morning, have a good playtime, feed him, pee him, poop him, and everything else, that I can put him back in there, and he'll be good for a couple of hours, and I can, I can go get like a full workout early next week. Oh, please, sleep, working out. Oh my gosh, I miss you so much. He's already so over Paris. He's just like, yeah, I seen it. I'm gonna take a nap. He's so sleepy. He's been asleep for most of this ride. Most of his first motorcycle ride has been sleepy, but. If you're thinking about doing something unique when you're here in Paris, I think taking a sidecar tour on a Royal Enfield with my buddy Simon here is probably among the most unique and really fun ways of getting around town. If you just want to chill, take photos, give your dog a really good nap, apparently, <laughs> this is a good way to do it. Yeah, it just rocks him right to sleep. Not even kidding, he's, he's, you, he's a trooper. This guy can sleep anywhere, jeez. What the heck? Oh, you are in so much trouble. Oh, well, we learned something today, didn't we? Well, I guess we'll see uh, as far as the evidence goes when he broke out. But I went for my first run without him and he managed to Houdini himself. And I think he was chewing on my pants. No idea how long he was doing that for. Well, new lesson learned. The kennel, uh, the top of the kennel can't hold him in. Did I just not close it properly last time or did he just force it out? I'm gonna have to put something on top of it, I guess, in the future when I leave. So, is this a failure or success? This is a failure of some sort. I'm gonna have to work on it. I'm gonna have to work on this. I'm happy with you, but too late. Can't, can't scold him now. Oh wow, yeah, he just, if you close this, you see that he just managed to push it all the way up. That's useless.